Hey everyone, today is very exciting because I am reviewing Arteza's acrylics. Hey, future me here, just coming in to tell you that this is just my opinion and my opinion only. I am a beginner artist, so that is the perspective of my review. I have had them for probably two weeks at this point. I have just not gotten around to filming yet, sorry, <laughs> but I finally am doing it. This is not sponsored, just wanna put that out there. I have tried their gouache, which I really like, and their watercolor sketchbook, one of them, and um, I am super excited to test these out and see if I like them, if I don't. This is the 60 set, and on the top of the box you have each individual color and all the information which is really amazing that they have that on the box there is the light fastness and the transparency and the pigment number all listed right here so i want to open up this bad boy to take a look at what's inside because I am very excited and I've had it for so long and I just want to open it up and start playing around with it. I like what I see. Uh, it's like a rainbow and there are 60 colors as I said. So let's just get all of them out and see what we are working with. Have you tried these out before? And if you have, let me know your thoughts. Oh my God, there are so many. I don't think I will fit them into the frame. Um, nope, <laughs> I cannot. So I'm just gonna do this. Uh, these look so good. I can't wait to start swatching all of this and start painting something. So that's what I'm gonna be doing in this video. So I have these sheets of paper that I'm gonna be swatching. The reason why there is a black line is the transparency test. So I'm gonna be coloring here and here all throughout the papers and we will see how transparent and how pigmented these paints are. And when I'm done swatching them all, I will paint something and actually use the paint. There's so much paint in front of me and I am so excited. I haven't been home for a week, which means I have not painted for a week. Yeah, I am gonna get started because I've been talking for way too long, so uh, let's get started. I am ready to start swatching. I'm gonna be starting with the first one that I pulled out of the box. I am only gonna film me swatching these ones because if I had to film every single color, it would be a very, very, very long video. So I will only be swatching these on camera and then I will come back when I have swatched all of them and show you the results. So let's start with the white one and instead of pulling out a palette, putting the paint on. I'm just gonna take it straight from the tube so I don't waste anything, cause that's how I am with new paint. I don't wanna waste it. So, I like that it's not sealed when I get it so I don't have to open it. Cause the thing, when I have to open the paint, cause there's sometimes a little sealed in the tube, it gets everywhere. I have not figured out a way to do that without getting paint on everything and I'm just gonna swatch oh, okay this is more pigmented than the one that I have uh, it's just from a grocery store and a little art store here in Denmark that I don't remember the name of because I don't really go there because it's expensive so if I can just zoom you in so you can see a little bit better there you go so you can Definitely see that there's something underneath the paint, but you can't see it too much. You can see the hint, but it's definitely covering a lot more than the paint that I already have. And um, the paint is really smooth, which is a huge plus. 
uh, paints in these tubes are usually thicker because it's in a tube than if it was in like a container. I don't know what to call them, but when there are in these types of tubes, they are usually pretty thick. You can water them down. I am just gonna do the swatches straight out of the tubes and on to the next color. So the next color is this yellow. I love yellow. I am thinking about dyeing my hair yellow. Um, which is gonna damage it a lot because I have dark brown hair. So I'm just gonna take a little paint blob right here and swatch. The paint is really, really smooth. Um, let me just say that. I am pretty impressed by that, but I can tell that this paint right here, at least this color, is not very pigmented over black. Um, but when you're painting, when you're gonna paint a lighter color, you usually don't go over that spot with a dark color, so I wouldn't rem like worry too much about that. So let me zoom you in. So it's definitely not covering the black very well. It's like a more green color right here, but on the white, it's a beautiful, beautiful color. I, I actually really like that. On to the third color. I love how many options you have. I mean, it is a big set, so I would imagine that you have a lot of options, um, but I am pleased to see that there are so many variations of the same color. And this is just a more like mustardy type of color. So as you can see, it's not covering as well over the black as I had hoped. Zoom you in again. Sorry I keep zooming in and out, but so far, big fan of the white, not so much the yellow. Now, the thing you have to remember is they aren't expensive paints, so the quality will not be at that standard. These are cheap paints, but they are high quality compared to the price. That's something that I want you to focus on. But for the price, I am really impressed, uh, especially how smooth the paints are. That I am very happy about. So, because they are very smooth and easy to move around. Sometimes with paints, I feel like you need to water them a little bit. So they glide smoothly, but these, I don't feel like that would really be necessary. I feel like they work pretty well on their own. So burnt yellow did not cover the black very well. It's super transparent. I don't know why this one, because it's darker so in my head, I would imagine that it would be a little bit more pigmented than the lighter ones, but apparently not. And on to the last color that I'm swatching on camera. I like this color. It's like a burnt sort of mustard color. Oh, this is pigmented. Oh, I love that. Look at that. And again, it was very smooth, but look how well that covered the black. I know that I didn't get very much paint here at the bottom, but here on the top, you can really see that it's covering it almost 100%. What, what is this? This is yellow ochre. I love that. That's, that's really good. Just like the white one. 
So I swatched the first few colors and I will swatch the rest off camera and I will be back. So I swatched all of the colors. Let's get into looking at the swatches. So I'm gonna start with this one, the one that you saw me. It's shaking a little bit, sorry. Um, you can see that the yellows, as I said, did not cover the black very well. If you can tell, they're really dark, but I think you can see that they covered the black very well, the brown. And then these two colors did cover really well. Surprisingly, they're very light, so I didn't expect them to. Um, and then this one did not cover at all. And time for the blue and the green. Just gonna zoom you in a little bit. There you go. This one, I was really surprised. That covered so, so well. Uh, I feel like a lot of the light colors covered really well. Um, and I like the gray tones. Uh, I like how blue this one is and warm. I think that, or cool, sorry. <laughs> how cool blue gray is this color. So this is probably my favorite color of them all. There are a few of the greens that cover really well, but there are also some that didn't cover super well. It might be a little hard to tell because these two are a little on the darker side, but they overall covered okay. Um, I'm not sure that the camera is picking it up super well, but it did cover pretty well actually. And on to the last paper. This is again the reds that didn't work super well on the first one uh, that I swatched, but it actually went okay on this one. I hope that my camera can pick it up because they actually covered really, really well. So overall, I am pretty happy with the paint. It's pretty good. It's really, really smooth. You don't need water to make a glide as you often need with thick paint like this. I am pretty happy with the opacity of the paint. There are some of the colors that you can't really see over the black line, but I'm not too worried. But I think it's time to paint. Hey everyone, future me. It's, it's been a few weeks since I recorded this video. I just hadn't gotten around to editing the video because I was working on another video that are coming out after this one. I hope it's gonna be out really soon. It's a collab, so it's not 100% up to me when the video will be out, but hopefully soon. I can't wait. I'm really excited for that one. Um, but I want to talk a little bit about my experience and my thoughts on the paint and then I will get into the techniques and stuff that I used in this video. So I have had a little time to play around with the paint since I recorded this video. I am working on another painting and I wish that there were more pastel colors in this uh, set because there aren't any really. Um, so I just used the white to make them more pastel light colors. Um, they, well, they're technically not pastel because I feel like pastel is a little bit lighter. But I, I do like lighter colors and I did hope that there would be more of that. But that's okay. I can just make them, you know, how I want them to with the white. Um, and it's pretty easy to blend. It's a lot easier than the paint that I already have. I have some other acrylics and they are very, very cheap, like very bad quality. They suck. I don't really use them. Um, and this is definitely an upgrade for sure. It's so much smoother. The pigment is so much better and it just super easy to blend. Um, yes, there are some times where I have a hard time blending, but that's just me because, you know, I'm not 
a hundred percent, you know, confident in my paintings yet. I am still a beginner, so take that as you will. But I am, as I said, working on another painting with these paints. And it's a darker painting, and it's a little bit more difficult, I'm not gonna lie. Um, because I do have like a lot of dark, but also a lot of light. And I find that hard to work with together for some reason. Um, like a very, very, very darks and then, you know, lights. And I have just not figured out a way how to do that yet. But that's, again, a me problem, not the paint. Um, except for, as you saw in the beginning, there were a few paints that pretty much didn't show up on the black. Those I had a little issue with, but not too bad um so overall i am really happy that i bought these paints i am gonna be using them a lot and i can't wait to make bigger projects i have one project in mind that i really 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 want to do but it's gonna take a really long time to do because it's gonna be a huge canvas S something that i've never done before the biggest painting that i've ever painted is an A4 piece of paper, like in this video. So I've never painted bigger than this. So it's gonna be a very different thing for me and it's gonna take a long time, but it's coming and I can't wait. So now I wanna talk a little bit about the painting that I did in this video. Um, the blending technique that I used was a mix between dry on wet and wet on wet. If you don't know what those different techniques are, you can either search and find a video here on YouTube, or if you want a specific video from me on how I do it, then just let me know and I will do that for you. I find those videos very helpful and I prefer to watch them from the artists that I personally love watching and I love their artwork because it just shows how they do it um and uh, i'm really sorry my head is in the way like pretty much the entire video i did not know that i was in the way until i started editing today so i'm really sorry about that um i should have noticed but i i didn't so that's that's what it is um and the blue glazing is that what's called frosting <laughs> I don't know. Um, the, the little hole on top, I had a s such a hard time um, figuring out how to paint that. Um, I have, I think I've drawn um, a donut before and I had the same issue. I just can't figure out how to do it in a way that makes it look good. So I ended up, I think, cutting half of the footage just from painting the hole um, out and I still don't feel completely happy about that but it it's done it is what it is I couldn't make it better than than what it is um, and also the darkest colors of the three bottom donuts glaze um, I ended up changing the colors because I felt like it was too brown and I didn't like that the shading was more brown. I wanted it to just be a darker color of the glaze. So I changed it. Uh, I didn't film that part, but you will see it at the end. Um, and also I did decide to put some shading underneath the sprinkles. I also didn't feel like filming that because I would have deleted the footage anyway. I would not have put it in, so. I don't feel like it would be really interesting to watch me do that. Um, I feel like the sprinkles were boring enough to watch. So, but I just wanted that in there to show that I painted that. But um, yeah, um, overall, I am really happy about the paint. I am really happy about the painting that I did. I love it so much. I am definitely going to do more paintings with light pastel -y colors. They make me really happy. I am a very colorful 
person. I love colors that make me happy and I can't wait to do more like this and to start that big, big project that I have in mind. I don't know when that's gonna be because I have to uh, buy a canvas that big and they're not cheap. So I'm gonna have to look into that and I don't have an easel either. So I don't know how I'm gonna do it because easels are freaking expensive if you want a good one. I mean, it's it's so much money, but it's worth it if you paint big uh, paintings. I don't really, so I don't know if I want to buy an easel, so I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna do it, but I'm definitely gonna figure it out so I can start that project and um, see how that's gonna go. But I really hope that you are enjoying this video. If you are, give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think and if you have tried the paints what are your thoughts are they completely different from mine and i just this is my opinion only i this is my you know thoughts uh, as a beginner artist um i am not experienced enough to like make this like this is a hundred percent the truth about this paint this is my opinion i should have said that in the beginning um, I probably will add that on now that I think about it because not everyone watches the video to the end and I don't want anyone to think that this is like the hard truth. This is just purely my opinion. Um, but if you are enjoying this video, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And um, I will see you next time. Bye.